Hey, we're in Scotland. So just uh, got off the train at Arachar and uh, Tarbot. So we're just walking along the path to Arachar and then just got first glimpse of the cobbler, which is where I'm planning to stay tonight. But as you can see, the views are gonna be zero. So we'll see anyway how we go. As usual, we've just got to kind of make the most of these trips sometimes. <laughs> uh, so we're going to keep walking and um, see how we get on, I guess. Woo! Lovely temperature though. It's a shame about the consistent rain for the rest of the day. So <laughs> um, not really sure what to go with there, but off we go. So we're starting our ascent now. Off we go up, just leaving the Arachar and the car parks and the lock. Um, weather hasn't really improved at all. But feeling good. It's quite an early start, so left London at three o'clock on Friday. And now it's about 20 to eight in the morning on the Saturday starting my hike it's just so beautiful like the amount of birds I've seen already it's pretty incredible and it's the scenery it's just so different to London and obviously in the highlands of Scotland but it's really good to be out really good on a proper excursion and adventure first proper one full on this year especially with hopefully camping if everything goes to plan. So we'll catch you up in a bit and we'll get a bit further up the mountain. Ooh. So above the cloud level now, and more snow. That's up to the top, up this way. Wow. Last time I was in the mountains like this, it was like Snowdonia, Snowden. <clears throat> I can see the video on top, if you want link. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty remarkable, so quiet. Haven't seen anyone so far. Just the terrain's quite pretty hard going. It's like boggy, very wet. Hopefully find somewhere to camp tonight. Oh. All right. Oh, there's no beating around the bush. This is pretty scary. Oh, there's the path heading up. Ooh, found it. It's the choke point. Beg Nan, Ben Nan. Ooh, that is a tough hike. Route one. Pretty treacherous, scrambling. Not overly nice with the backpack, but job done. So, to this point, hill. There's a 
is the day. Alright, onwards. I'm not gonna hang around here. It's pretty desolate when the wind picks up and the rain it does get a bit cold. Let's keep going. Woo. Ten seconds later after the trig point, snowing. Whew. Let's get off this uh, high point, make it out a little bit lower, hopefully a little bit further out the cloud as well. All right. I can't decide if I'm cold or hot, to be honest. Um, kind of like toasty and warm with my body. Hands are starting to get a bit cold now, the gloves have got a bit wet. But they're pretty good, like my winter cycling ones, so they should be pretty, they're really good up, like up to the task. They're just not waterproof. Uh, yeah. Enjoying this. I've seen a couple of hikers now, had a couple of chats, they're doing pretty good. They didn't enjoy it when the hail came in either. <laughs> But that's what can you do? Oh, oh as you can see, the snow's coming down a bit heavier now. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit, see if it feels any worse. I'll keep to new, but if it's any worse than this, I'm gonna have to turn it back. All right, so I've decided just gonna go to the top of a mountain and get zero views. All I'm doing is just doing something quite dangerous really. So I've decided, I've turned around, heading back down, already finding it, you know, partially difficult, but not difficult to see the path. So, oh, the camera's getting splattered with snow here. But you can just tell that maybe in half an hour, an hour, I could probably keep this. Path. So let's get down off this mountain. Woo. Good cool brothers. Oh. So this is the route up to the cobbler. As you can see, it's pretty snowy up there. So I'm just gonna make the decision to head back along the lower the ridge line along the valley um, if not i'm gonna get too cold too wet and then oh, i mean I'm, I'm kind of said to myself i kind of said to myself that rain is one thing camping but snow is another thing i don't really have the appropriate equipment for it so i think i'm gonna stick by that you know i've probably got enough gear it was more enough gear for emergency rather than planned set up tent in the snow um this will be the first winter camp i've ever done let alone winter solo wild camp i've ever done uh so doing it in you know it must be yeah don't know what happened there with the camera but yes Decided to go back via the lower safe route and I mean, you can see the snow on the side of my bag. Not pitch up tent in the snow. Maybe I'll enjoy one of these beers I've got for camping on the train or find a B&B or somewhere or something like that. I'm gonna have to sort out accommodation for tonight. So anyway. This view is just epic. I picked the wrong side of the lock. Look at that. It's open, 
no snow on it. Ah. Anyway, it's still an incredible height this. Look at the snow, it's just so good. Despite my fingers being a bit numb right now. Uh, yeah. So nice. Woo! That running river, snaking path. Oh. It's all, almost a bit of clear sky. The distance and on the other side of here. So this is the cobbler where I was going to walk over and come back down. And from this side it looks amazing, but we've just seen it five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. And you can't get back up from the other can't get up from the other side. I mean you can, but it's quite dangerous. So it would be quite good to find a route up to this bit, ridge, as I was meant to be following it all the way back down that side. But there doesn't seem to be any path up that way. But this is pretty cool with the low cloud coming in from the from the sea so i guess check out that a bit further on here it's starting to warm up a bit by walking back down the hill though it's nice so that's me finishing up my walk or hike Pretty epic, bit sketchy at times, bit scary. Um, also just talked to a guy who I saw when I was coming down and he was going up and he said that he was, going, he was trying to, he tried another one of the, the peaks and he also did exactly the same to me, turned around because it just got just silly basically. Um, wind came in, you know, night degrees with snow and hail and got really dropped in temperature and we're both walking down on both pretty pretty cold and sodden so um yeah we're just sort of talking about mountain safety and you just need to make those right calls so stay safe out there and um yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh really gut i couldn't manage to um get the wild camp in but i think with the conditions it's not really suitable for my equipment so um all my nerves so a bit of a shame but next time so yeah if you like this video give it a like drop in anything in the comments section if you've got any questions about how i've planned my routes or what equipment i've got but hope to see you on another video see you soon Woo.